Meanwhile, in the Steam review section of Fallout 4, I have lost 10 pounds since starting Fallout 4, because I keep forgetting to eat. 10 out of 10, best fitness game on Steam. Knowing that these two things are actually legal to do in certain states, would you rather perform incest or bestiality? Uh, um... Bestiality. <laughs> Fucking furry. Uh, I, I love to know where. Listen, if you if you put me in a room with a bear and I say, "Hey, bear, do you want some sweet, sweet honey?" The bear's gonna say yes. Incest, they're gonna run away. Depends, like really. Tie them down. Depends, <sighs> really. Point. If you're like somebody's fat nephew, of course they're gonna run away. <laughs> they would have run away. They just oh. want some loving. Um, I'm gonna have to go with... You know, I'm really not into animals that way, so... Incest? Are you breaking up with Gooby? Are you breaking up with your cat? I don't have a relationship with my cat. That's exactly what someone who would be in a relationship would say. Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. I've been that kind of person that just kind of went, Alright, I'll just look at these. Because I'm that type of guy that kind of just goes... You know, people are, are fucked up in the head. Let's see how fucked up they are. So you go to Tumblr, you search bestiality, and you find this crazy fucking things. I mean, just seeing what they fucking jerk off to and upload is is fucking glorious in how fucking pathetic they are. But I think in the terms of incest, that's this whole fucking crazy psychotic mental disorder in both situations. But for some strange reason, I'm just going to have to go with bestiality because incest kind of has that mental scar and animals can't speak the human language. So, you know, fuck, who are they going to tell? Uh, <laughs> so you're going to be a closet furry. <laughs> I'm already a fucking furry. No. Well, if you are, would you get a blowjob by a piranha? <laughs> Do I have any option to remove the teeth? That's like That's like the essential part about it. Do I have to fuck it in the mouth or any hole in the body? Blowjob. Mouth. Or you can blow the fish. Now fucking- that's a fucking Chinese penis right there. So, would you rather have your face covered in severe acne, or be extremely fat? Jesus My back and- my back is already filled with fucking pimples, so I'll just fucking go with the acne. You sure? You don't- you can- you don't want the double dozen? You can go with both? I mean, you could be fat, but I don't know. I don't even know what it's like to be fat. Every time I breathe in and breathe out, I see my rib cage, and I could probably press my heart if I push my finger hard enough. The more <laughs> you can do it, something different. Uh, more cushion for the pushing. Um, because I don't know, like how like acne is like like really big fucking white heads, black heads, pussy pimples and shit like that. It was like the small specks of like uh connect the dots and shit. Oh, it's like pussy and gooey. Like you could probably like it like drips sometimes. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. When you put it like that, you would have to have a really fucked up mind. I mean, I'm fucked up, but not that fucked up. So. Maybe, like, how fat would I be? How fat would you be? Like, generic Walmart shopper fat. Jesus In the fucking, in the fucking go-kart, the fucking oh, driver. Yeah. The of course, like, you, you have, like, your custom-built go-kart with, like, extra weight support. <laughs> I'll do it just for the fucking go-kart. Have that fucking <laughs> crash team racing feel to it. Fucking skidding around the shops. Buying fucking... What the fucking Americans buy? Buying my gun. Burgers. We, we buy a lot of burgers. Burgers and guns. Burgers and guns. That's America. That that should be a fucking shop there. If you get a haircut, or this particular haircut, you get a free gun. And it was the fucking him getting the haircut, and it was signing those registration forms to, like, own this gun. And he walked out with a fucking... I don't remember the name. Maybe the caliber. That's just the name that just pops in my head. But, yeah, there's, I wouldn't be surprised if there's already stores there where you say... You do this, get a free gun. It, it's fucking obvious in fucking um, America. I don't think it would be for like something slight as a haircut, though. Because haircuts don't even cost like 20 bucks, right? Yeah, it wouldn't be a haircut. However, I have seen a gun store right next to a liquor store, and all of that was right next to a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> American!
Fuck no! Fuck <laughs> Lick my butt and suck on my balls. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm next. That's the fucking lyrics. You want me to fucking sing? I want uh, uh, Travis D instead, because I know you know those lyrics a lot more than me. No. For a two thousand dollar reward, would you rather stay overnight in a haunted asylum or go on a scary but broken roller coaster? Scary but broken roller coaster, like like a fucking children's thing, like a fucking intense fucking roller coaster kind of a thing. Like uh, Final Destination. That's a that's a good one. Going you know, to the asylum. Is it just like walking around halls? It's a it's, it's a haunted asylum. Like uh, I don't know if you've so seen the movie. Uh, what's it called? Grave Encounters. Like the movie oh, Grave think, Encounters. All I'm thinking is this is this fucking Hannibal Lecter kind of a thing. But that's not a haunted asylum. Um, I don't know, like the roller coasters, like you go and then you're like, well, you know, there's a high chance of you fucking dying and shit, or just like the thing breaks and then you get your eyeball impaled with the fucking railing of the roller coaster, or something flies out of something. I don't know, you just kind of get flipped and you get squashed by the thing. I don't know, but then the asylum's kind of got those things where, like, oh, someone could grab you, then you're tied up and he's dissected you. Yeah, it's a fucking. I would go to the, um, the roller coaster because it would seem more fun to die, pretty much. More fun to die. <laughs> I have a question about the roller coaster. Hmm? Do I have to wear a seatbelt? Yes, it's like all safety, uh, all safety things will be going on, but there's Fucking just a high what? chance of the thing breaking down. Ugh. Never mind. I'll take the asylum, Fuck whatever. <laughs> okay. Next question, Betty. You're up again. Oh boy! Time to go back to the asylum. All right. Um. Would you rather? It's probably gonna be a fucking sexual. My questions. Would you rather have sex with a transgendered man or a transgendered woman? The transgender woman is gonna look like a man but have a vagina. Which one has the penis? Trans <laughs> transgendered man. Transgender it's basically. Man. It's basically, they've all got their original genitalia, but they've all done the operations of what they needed to do to look like their respected genders that they wanted to is look it, like. Is so, it a good transformation? Like, does it look accurate, or is it, like, horribly disfigured? Well, if it's horribly disfigured, then you all just go for the trans man, because just be a, a fucking horrible, short-haired tracer that says, fuck me, pretty much. So, it's going to be <laughs> one of those... It's going to be one of those fucking... Because, you, you know, fucking, like... The, the the stereotypical lesbian is just short hair, aggressive muscles, jeans, shit like that. Um, and the fucking so this is in the point of view where it's like they've done their operations, they look the part, but it's obvious that you can tell what their original gender is. Like the oh, trans, uh, the trans would woman. Would I be could giving or receiving with the man, the the trans man? My guess is that the trans man would want to be treated as a man, so they would probably want to be the dominant one. What? But why would they get the surgery to be a woman then? That makes no sense. Mate, he went. She went from woman to man. That's why she wants to dominate now. No, no, no. I meant the other one, like the the other way around. Oh. Because, oh, like, I mean, oh. that that is just a case. You just get some duct tape, don't look, and then, bada bing, bada boom, problem solved. <laughs> Well, some people just have too much money, you know? The only thing that I can recall in this, I remember there was a documentary and it was fucking, it was like, there would be these women and they would be walking around and they have these penises in their back. they will be like replicas of actual penises and what they would do is, I think they would be able to put it where the vagina would be so they could urinate like a man. But I think in the terms of sex, I probably would have to do a lot more research. It's, it's probably like, they would give them this penis that they would only put on for sex, pretty much. It's like a strap-on, but more of a realistic feel to it, possibly, I believe. Yeah, since you said that it's gonna be a pretty bad job at the, uh, at the whole, uh, makeover, I'm just gonna go for the trans woman, because at least there's a vagina to work with. I'll just, you know, the turn off the lights. The, the trans woman is the man turning into a super sexy fan art. Unlike the blue spy, Red Spy's dick was not as long. However, it was much fatter. Oh, okay. It's similar to that of an elephant trunk. Oh. 
What sort of a comparison is that? No, I, I guarantee you this guy just learned what a simile was and is trying to use so it as many. much as possible. Blue Spy couldn't take it 